All right, and welcome to Hillcrest Christian School, home of the Hillcrest Christian Cougars. Tonight's kickoff, getting ready for some football, Cougar style. Here in the press box on the campus of Hillcrest Christian School, we're getting ready for a kickoff. Uh, Hillcrest Christian Cougars are hosting Discovery Christian Lions out of Florence, Mississippi. Getting set for tonight's kickoff. Now, we had a little rain delay, uh, had a little lighting delay. And, we'll and now we're about to go get things started here at tonight's contest. Let's take a look at the field. It's a little muddy, a little wet. But, hey, it is football season, something that anticipates that we've been waiting for quite some time. Tonight's captain of the game was number five, Trollin Tillerson, number eight, Jonathan Roby, and, and number 42, Logan Real. The Cougars have elected to kick off. Let's get this opening season season game started is cougar football here on hcs cougar network now, now you may see a lot of excitement going on around because we're here in the press box and again it is a little wet you may see some guys sliding around so i said this is football season everything gets not perfectly played in football especially when the grounds are wet Coach Carr entered into his first season playing a little eight-man football. It's something a little different. I know talking with some of the players, it's something a little different for them. But football is football. You strap it up, throw the pig skin around, make contact, and it is set to go. Oh, excuse me. The Cougars are set to return. The Lions are set to kick off. And the thing about eight-man football, it's, again, it's just a little different, just missing two players. And they're still playing the same width and same length of the field, all 100 yards of it. But the thing is, you got less players, you got more room to move around. Again, we're getting set for kickoff. I don't have a roster for Discover Christian, so I'm just going to basically call them by the numbers. Uh, forgive me if I mispronounce their number. All right, number two is set the kickoff for the line. Need the return number three. Hayes. Oh, it's a squib kick. Picked up by number three, and he's taking it and is tackled by number 10. Be first and 10. Haynes with the return. Be first and 10. Cougars. Ball looks like it'll be spotted at their 34 yard line. First and 10. Cougars. Again, this is Coach Carr, first year here with the Cougars. Again, doing something a little different, doing eight-man football. And it looks like they come out in a tight formation. Tillerson at the quarterback. Fumbles the snaps and just falls down. So, again, you know, we had a little rain delay. The field is a little wet. Like the rain was traveling from south. Uh, excuse me, south, east, heading northwest. Got me playing meteorologist today. Again, brings up second down and about 12 for the Hillcrest Cougars. Looks like check, checking in for the Cougars, number three, Kobe Hayes. Brings in and plays in the huddle. Trolling breaks the huddle. Again, they come in in a tight formation. So again, it's eight-man football. So you still got plenty of space, but there's not any occupation. Quarterback rolls out, sees the man in the flat, and as Roby taking it up down the field, and he is still on his feet, and he could go all the way. No flags on the play. Official gives a signal. Touchdown, Cougars. Oh, well, there we go. Look like we got a flag over there on the side. Let the officials speak about what has taken place. Flag looks like it was spotted by at the 48 yard line. Got legal block in the back against the Cougars. Voided touchdown. So back to the drawing board. Your heel, Chris Cougars, go.
gets just a spot foul. Good dump off play for Tillerson to Roby, who was wide open, and he broke down the sideline. But somebody, as they say, saw the big numbers and decided to block. So brings back second down. That was a spot foul. That was a spot foul. So 10 yards from the spot. Be first, was well, excuse me, second down. Cougars like this spotted at their own 39 yard line. Let's go. Rolls out again. Sees the man deep. Oh, underthrown. Tillerson pass attended for number 11, Tony Tillerson. Hey, brothers. Passes a little short, brings up third down. Third and about five. Coach getting the signal in. Offense breaks the huddle with 7.52 to go in the first quarter. Opening drive, the Cougars did go down for a touchdown, but it was called back due to a block in the back. Tillerson comes out in the shotgun, two receivers to the left, man in the backfield, ball is snap, high snap, looking, 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 sees a man open across the middle. Oh, that was Roby again across the middle. Pass is incomplete. Brings up fourth down. Brings a fourth down. Coach looks like he's going to punt. Look like they're missing a few players over there for the Cougars. I've got a few guys coming in a little late. Cougars are in punt formation. Deep to punt is number three, Kobe Haynes. Punt. Ball flies right up in the air. And it shanks and is picked up by the Lions. Traveled about five yards by number 25, first and 10, Discovery Christian. Ball's like going to be spotted at the Cougars' 44-yard line. Again, you're listening to Bernard Moore here on Cougar Network, Hillcrest Christian School Cougars. I said we had a little rain, rain delay, lightning delay. And as you can see that the field is a little wet. Got to dry the ball off and keep it, keep it dry. Keep your traction because the field is a little wet. Once the Lions come out, that shotgun number 10, that quarterback. Got Ovalo to his right. Jabek calls the snap, hands off, sees him in the backfield, lost the ball. Looks like it was recovered by the Lions, but there's a flag on the play. Looks like it was a false start. The running back started just a little early. So let's see what the official call. Illegal shift against the Lions. A legal shift against the line. They're going to take the penalty, take them back. Coach decided to take the penalty. But they did lose some yards, so I guess Coach is going to take the penalty. Still first down, first and 15 for the Lions. Yeah, we're in the first quarter, 7.31 to go. And some exciting eight-man football playing in the mud. This is the best time to play some football in the mud when it's raining. Quarterback called the cadence, and it's like somebody got an extra start. Looks like that penalty is going to go against the defense because, you know, you can tell when the flag thrown, 
and they throw it on the side of the ball, and it's something against the defense. That ball neutralizes on infraction against the defense. Still first down. Gives those five yards back. First and ten lines at the original spot. And we're here on the campus of Hillcrest Christian School. Here for tonight's contest, the Cougars hosting the Lions. And there we go again. Another flag on the play. Their ball, false start against the Lions. Now back to the previous original spot. First and 10, first and 15, Lions. And the ref gets the signal to wind up the clock. Ball is snap, handoff, hit the ground, and is dragged a few yards. Picks up about two, taken down by Roby. Brings up second down. Brings up second down. Looks like the quarterback took Roby for a little ride. I'm not sure if he was, you know, lost, lost his tractions. But the grass was a little wet. Brings up second down. Brings up second and about 14 or 13 for the Lions. Ball is snap. Hands off. Quarterback keeps it. Takes a trip on the side. Oh, quarterback is stopped by number 42. Real. Real with the tackle. Gains of about three to four yards. Brings up third down. Brings up third and about ten and a half. Ball falls on the ground. Oh, he is stopped met in the backfield by a host of Cougars. Real led the led the stop, but it kind of broke away and picks up a few more yards. But tackled by a host of the Cougars. So brings a fourth down for the Lions. And you hear your chili this chin chin on their home Cougars go fight win. Fourth and about twelve. Coach goes for it. the Lions go for it. Ball is snap. Drop back pass. Looking, looking, looking. Oh, wide open man down the field. Overthrown to number 80. He snuck behind the coverage. Pass is incomplete. Oh, and that possibility would have been a touchdown. Or I know it would have been a first down for the Lions. But it's incomplete. Turnover on downs. All right. 4.35 to go in the first quarter. Turnover on downs. First and 10. Cougars. Balls looks like he's going to be spotted at the 46-yard line. As you can see now, the, the field's a little muddy. They're trying to throw the ball. Can't get good traction on throwing the ball. Players are slipping in the backfield. But you definitely can see exactly that they're definitely trying to play some football. The coaches are, are, are doing what they can do with the conditioning of the field, the conditioning of the ball. Don't have a good grip on it because once the center puts the ball on the ground, he's adding more moisture to the ball. And then as he's snapping it, he's spreading the moisture on the ball, and the quarterback tries to catch it and get a good grip and throw the ball. And some of them throwing passes a little over 15 yards, and they just can't get a good grip on it and throw the ball. So 
got a few ball boys on the sideline drying the balls off. So hopefully that they can definitely get things together so they can come out this drive because the Cougars threw a pass, about a seven-yard pass off from Thompson to Roby. He did catch it, but there was a penalty, and they did take it back for a touchdown, but it was a penalty. So now they're back to play. Let's take a look back at the action. First and 10 Cougars from their own 46-yard line. Tells him to come out, got two receivers to his right. Man in motion, ball is snapped, and there goes the handkerchiefs. Not sure exactly what happened. That ball, false start against the Cougars. All right, now there we go. As I said, again, they start off just a little bit too early, getting excited to jump the ball. Brings up second, well, excuse me, first and 15 for the Cougars. Brings the ball to the line of scrimmage. But team also to the line of scrimmage. Got two receivers to the left. Man in motion. Hands off around the corner. There goes Tolleson. And he breaks a tackle and could go up the field. And he slides down at about the 48 yard line. Tackled by number 10. Rolled him down just a little bit. Fisher said the ball is going to be spotted at about the 47 yard line of the Lions. Brings up second in about four. Tillerson with the carry around the corner. Got the ball moving a little. All right now, here we go again. Two receivers to the left. Back in the backfield. Quarterback sends a man in motion. There's the snap. Fake handoff. He keeps it. Calls his own number. Oh, and there goes that handkerchief. He cuts back back across the field. And he's gone. And he just takes the trip out of bounds. But there's a marker on the play. See the side judge on the far side gives a holding of his wrist. Saying that there's a possible holding uh, against the Cougars. Holding against the Cougars. That's a spot foul. All right, coach sends a man in. So I'm talking to the quarterback on the sideline, giving him a play by the officials set the ball for play because of that penalty. As you look on both sidelines, like we got a river on the field, keeping the keeping the, the sideline close to the field because of the river. Then you still have some of the young players on the sideline playing in the water. All right, brings up second down and about 12 for the Cougars. Ball spotted at their own 44-yard line. Two receivers to the right. Ball is snapped. Tillerson calls his own number. Takes it around the corner. And that goes a handkerchief. Tillerson could break it, and he is forced out of bounds. But there's a marker on the play. Holding. I guess the Cougars. Sound like the chain gang got a little excited and moved over just a little bit. So now they got to figure out where they're going to respot the ball. But it was a spot foul. So the official is going to take it from the market and mark it back since it was a spot foul. But you don't know the down and distance. Well, don't know the distance. All right, there we go. Going to bring up second down again. Ball spotted back at the 38-yard line of the Cougars. Now, right, see, we got the little ball, the ball gentleman. Run the ball in on field. Make sure that it is dry and juiceable for the game. All 
Tells her back in the shotgun. Ball is snapped, drop back, looking, 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 scrambling, scrambling. Don't see nobody. And he calls his own numbers, taking it down the field. And he could take it a good move. Tripped up and lost the ball. Luckily, the ball kind of fell out of bounds as he was trying to fall up on it. 28-yard carry for Tillerson. Lost the ball, and he's a little shaken up a little. And that's enough for a Cougar first down. First down, Hillcrest Cougars. Ball is spotted at the 34-yard line of the Lions. 314 to and counting in the first quarter. Well, no, the ball went out of bounds. So it's a uh, clock stop. 314 and counting in the first quarter. All right, we got a new quarterback in, number three, Kobe Hayes. Tillerson was a little shaken up. Ball is snap. Oh, a high snap over his head. Fall on it. Ball is back at the 46 yard line. And we got a timeout on the field. Timeout. Cougars, their first charge timeout. And the half. All right, doing this timeout, we're going to just take a break and just have a little check. That's again, now we're at Hillcrest Christian Academy home of the mighty Cougars. They're hosting Discovery Christian Lines based out of Florence, Mississippi. And if you'd like more information in reference to Hillcrest Christian School, they're located at 4060 South Sideway Road. And you can contact them at 601-372-0149 or log on to www.hillcrestchristian.org. For more information, again, you can contact them at 601 601- Three seven two zero one four nine, located four zero six zero South Sideway Road. Now take a look down at the Chili's. Not sure if you can hear them though, but you can hear them cheering. The Cougars out there giving that Cougar spirit, cheering on their team. Again, with thanks for the fans that are coming up. We had a thirty minute rain delay. I mean, excuse me, not rain delay, lightning delay. Official having a conversation with someone. Official telling young man he had to come out the game. Or not sure, but because probably was something uh, legal equipment that he was u- using. So official said he had to come out the game. Not sure what it was. It's like a yes, a head scar. Tells him back in high snap. Oh, just fall on it, and he wants to take it and run. And so he could get somewhere, but got nowhere. Loss of about 20, a big loss. Ball back at the 40 of – ball back at the 40 of the Cougars. Third and forever for the Cougars. Until it is a little frustrated of the snap, the ball was a little bit too high. And so that's the thing about playing center. If you're snapping the ball and you're not looking back to where you're snapping because as a center, you're going to take a look, have a quick look at the quarterback, see where he is, and then you got to get your head back down because you probably have the nose tackle directly right there over you, over you. so you want to snap and go ahead and get a good block so that you can protect your quarterback. Well, like I said, playing center in the shotgun is a little, is a little tricky. And there we go again, a high snap, and Tullison picked up the ball and he dropped it. But he got it back in his hand, so he can. He's trying to take it and it's still on his feet, and he's running. But there's a handkerchief on the field. Holding Cougars. Spot foul. Likes the foul was at the original line. Of, I mean, not the original line. Of, was at the line of scrimmage. So ball is about to be taken back ten more yards. Again, we're having a little exciting excitement what's going on playing in the rain. The ball is already slippery and wet, and it's, it's a little difficult keeping your traction. So, no, as a, as a, a former equipment manager, 
uh, for the greatest university in the state of Mississippi, Jackson State University. I know that I was taught by the late coach Robert Hughes, you know, especially when you're playing in this type of uh, condition, that you would need to go to some court, uh, three four cleats. As I say, three fourths detachables, not your regular studs or your regular molded cleats. You probably need to have some detachables a little longer so that you can have better traction in the ground. And so I'm not sure if the players are you know, playing in some molded cleats. And sometimes the molded cleats are not going to really stick to the ground. And as you can see, that's possibly what's taking place. But the Cougars have elected to punt. And we're missing someone on the field. And there it goes trotting out. You know, one time before, the, even before you're ready to get up, you got to count your mans and make sure the Cougars are set to punt. Ball is snapped. Oh, got a better punt out this time. Ball is kicked off, and he's taking it down the sideline. And he is brought down by number six. Return for about 10 yards. Thomas with the tackle. Be first and 10 Lions. Ball looks like it'll be spotted at their own 46 yard line. And 112 to go in the first quarter, which has been a, a good, muddy one. Uh, the official just threw the ball, thought it was going to bounce over there, just land right there in the middle. No bounce. None whatsoever. All right, first and 10 lines from their own 46-yard line. Quarterbacks is up on the center. Hands off to the fullback, who is met at the line of scrimmage by number eight, Roby. Gang, so for about nothing, brings up second down. What gain of a negative one yard, excuse me. The uh, way he was brought down, looked like he didn't gain anything, like he got right back to the – looks like he got back to the line of scrimmage. Brings up second down. Again, it is a muddy Friday. Had a lightning delay at the beginning of the game. Game kicked off at about 7.30. It – Watered the field for us a little, but water just a little bit too much. Quarterback's back up under the center again. Calls his cadence. Hands the ball out to the fullback who bounced off of a block and then gets tackled in the backfield. By number four and number 20. Lost a few yards in the backfield. Brings up third and about 16, 17. All right, with that down, that's the end of the first quarter. Your score, your Hillcrest Christian Cougars, zero. Discovery line, zero. And now let's take a look at the Discovery Christian cheerleader. They're kind of on, on, on the visiting side. Oh, no, they're taking a break right now. So, again, now we've been taking a break here. I, I started the second quarter. The score is still zero, zero. Now, as you see, the first half is has been a lot of penalties. It's ha it has been penalties. It has been penalties. It has been loose balls. It has been just a rough first quarter for both teams. The first, the opening drive, again, the Cougars had a, a very short uh, seven-yard pass dumped off to Roby. Roby took it down the field, but it was called back for a block in the back. And so that kept on pushing the Cougars back. No one really has had a big major drive until the Cougars broke one. Uh, Tillerson quarterback broke a long drive, gained about 32 yards, but then he lost the ball. Ball rolled out of bounds, and then they kept getting penalized, 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 and then pushed them back even farther back. So the penalties have really hurt both teams. It's not just saying that the Cougars are are are, are gaining penalties as well as lines. Penalties are going back and forth as well as loose ball. Uh, the Cougars have had some issues with snaps, and the Lions are just not really moving the ball. So it's – can't say it's – or do we want to say it's the weather, the weather element, the condition that they're playing in? But, hey, this is football. 
you have to be prepared to play in any type of a condition. So I think the players going to have to need to uh, figure out a way so how they can keep better traction, how they can go out and really come out and play some football this second quarter. So now let's get ready to get back to some action. Again, brings up third down, start of the second quarter. Again, this is Hillcrest Cougars hosting Discover Christian Lions. Quarterbacks to back up under the center. Calls the cadence. Sends a man in motion. Slides over. Hands off. Oh, it's almost a counter. But he is stopped in the backfield for nothing. Tackle made by number 20, Christian Raglan. Chris Raglan. Brings a fourth down for the Lions. I guess Coach looks like he's going to go for it. I'm saying it's, it's, it's a little difficult to punt due to the fact of, like I said, you're playing in tough conditions right now with the way that the ball is wet. Now let's take a look at the cheerleader side on the sideline. They have the little junior Cougars in the middle, and they surround it down with the chair. And so, as you can see, the junior Cougars are there being a part of the Cougar chair. So now back to the football action. I'm not sure exactly what took play. Got a dead ball foul. Delay a game against the Lions. But another five yards, so it's going to bring up still fourth down. Once again, take a look at the little cougar cheer. They're doing a little celebration on the sideline behind the football team. All right now, back to the back to football action. Fourth and long. Quarterback comes up on the center. Not sure exactly what that was. Just gave them a few extra yards outside against the Cougars. Looks like he got a little excited. And so he took off a little start and he just went on ahead and ran to the sideline. There was uh, Roper, Richburg. Uh, with the penalty, false start. Nutri's on in fraction against the Cougars. Gives the Lions a few extra yards, but still puts them deep. Quarterback comes in a shotgun, calls the cadence. Ball is snapped, looking, 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 and is sacked in the backfield. Pressure by number eight, Roby. Pass is incomplete, and a be turnover on downs. First and ten. Cougars, no flag on the play. So, like the Cougars will take over at the 36 yard line. 36 yard line of the line. So, now just give them a good field position. So, now let's see what the Cougars can come out and do. Again, I know they're dealing with some of the hiccups right now, dealing with the snapping of the ball and attempting to keep traction on the field. But now they had the opportunity to go to the sideline to discuss it. And now let's see what the Cougars offense is going to come out and provide a source of entertainment for the fans, as well as the junior chilies and the chilies on the sideline. They come out under center, tight formation, barks out the cadence, hands off to Reels. Reel takes it around the corner, and he possibly could take it to the house and steps in. Touchdown reels. All right. Take a scan of the field. No flag. Touchdown Cougars. Real with a 36 yard touchdown carry. Now the Cougars are attempting the extra point. I think Coach looks like he's going to go for two.
Destin, which they are they going for two? That the Cougars go in a tight formation. Calls a timeout. Guess he didn't like what he see. Well, and again, well, let's take a look at the Chili's while they're going through the timeout. Cougar cheer along with the junior Cougars. And let's take a look at the Discovery Christian Lines out of Florence, Mississippi. Now, as you can see now, there, there was a, something going on with the visiting sideline. So the, te- the Cougars and stuff that came onto this side to cheer for their fans as well as the fans came to the home side. Having a little update over on the bleachers on the visiting team side. Oh, now they're rocking away. It's good to see action as well as the, the youth, chili, the youth, the young Cougars are out and being involved in the cheer as well. All right, and there goes the Cougars. They're looking to go for two. Got a receiver lined up wide. Quarter box out the cadence. Looking, looking, looking. Oh, ball is popped in the air and is picked up by Discovery Christian. Two point conversion is no good. All right, and with 749 and the first quarter, I mean, correction, second quarter, your Hillcrest Christian Cougar is six, Discovery Line zero. All right, now let's go ready, go ready for the kickoff. Now, she, as you can see, that the coaches they came out with a different game plan that particular opportunity, that particular drive. They put them on the line side of the field at the 36, and they saw that the best thing that we can possibly do is just put the ball on the ground. And see, that's what they did. They put the ball on the ground, and Reels was able to take it 36 yards for a touchdown. Now, I can say that the field, the condition of the the condition of the field is not the best right now, but they still just got to play football because there still has to be a winner and it still has to be playing 10 minutes a quarter for four quarters so they still have to come out and play football so now you can see coach came up with something a little different to try to figure out what can they do to put the ball in the end zone again they had the opening drive with an eight yard pass to roby who took it for the rest of the way but there was a block in the back and so the penalty was the i mean the penalty was uh negated the touchdown and now, as you can see, that the Cougars attempted to move the ball again to set for kickoff. Man, at the number 25, at about the 25, set to receive this kickoff. And there's the kickoff, kicks his off, and it is over his head. And he had to run behind and catch it. And he picks it up, and he is tripped up by number 10. Chubb Ford with the tackle. Chubb forward with the tackle. Line. Right, be first and 10 lines from the own 18 yard line. I right, said so it's a little, a little rough conditions here at Hillcrest Christian School. Had a little lightning delay at the beginning of the game. Because the rain did come down well at the beginning of the game, before the game started. And rain was blowing, as you can look from the south end zone to the north end zone. Then with a little twist. All right, Discovery Christian comes out, spread the field out, get everybody out wide, quarterback barking out the cadence, takes a snap. He is up the middle, finna cause his own number, cuts back through the field, cuts, breaks a few tackle, and gains of about three yards well correction four yards tackled at the 22 as the official side just stands quarterback calls his own number I said he wind them out he wiped the field out spread the defense out and that was a good opportunity for him to 
That was a good opportunity for him to, to get some distance. Now coach calls in the play, sends the play in by one of the offensive players. And again, there goes again. He's spreading the defense out so they can create an alley. I said you you you're losing you lose two players in eight man football uh compared to what is regularly eleven. Oh, the ball is snapped, and there's a flag on the play. False start against the offense. Once again, they're playing eight man football at this particular moment, and still playing the length of the field as well as the width. And see the difference about, about eight man football: you take away two players. It doesn't take away the distance of the field, the uh, the dy dynamics of the field, but it takes away a player and it gives more space. And so. The Lions is uh, attempted to spread out the Cougars' defense to, to uh, attempt to create an alley for the quarterback, in which you can see that he has a little success, but he just wasn't able to get that catch that edge. And again, here we go. You got the offense, offense is spread out. Got defense spread out as well. Quarterback barks out the cadence, ball is snapped, and he takes it up the middle, and he is stopped by number twenty, Raglan. Picks up short distance, and you and as you can see that the Cougars are reacting very quick to the ball, and that's a good patient defense. As you see, you're waiting to see where the ball is going, and then you react to it very quickly. That right there has definitely caused a lot of discipline, and you can see that Raglan has discipline. Whether he's reacting to the ball, he's not running up the field, rushing himself to get back there to try to create a play. He's patiently waiting to see where the ball is, and he just stood patiently, and he met the quarterback right at the line of scrimmage and was able to make the tackle. Again, brings up third down, third and about eight or seven and a half. Quarterback box out the cadence, sees a man down the field, and the ball is caught, but it's in and out the hand. Number 11, Tullison on the coverage. Not sure if he had his eyes in the backfield. But the receiver did catch it, and he was able to get that to break it up. So I'm not sure. No, he had his eyes in the backfield, but he did. He kind of was frozen, but luckily did have a quick reaction to break up the pass to knock the ball out of his hand. That was a good reaction that brings their fourth down. Again, the Lions to set the punt. We're here at Hillcrest Christian the Hillcrest Christian School. 4060 South Sideway Road in Jackson, Mississippi. If you like more information, you can definitely give them a call. 601 372 0149 to learn more information about Hillcrest. They have a lot of different a new academic program uh, here that they're offering with ag, uh, acceleration at the STEM, and they're doing a lot of different things uh, for providing more opportunities. To do for like a train, so it's some good good things going on here at Hillcrest Christian School. So definitely, I'll check them out. Four zero six zero South Sour Road in Jackson, Mississippi. That was a penalty on the play. Uh, false start against the lines. Now they again they set the punt. Ball is snap. Ball hits the ground, and there goes a flag. Not who the flag was on this time. Dead ball. False start. Offense again. Ball started against the lines again, so the ball is started going back the wrong way. And so with that, that's possibly going to give time out on the field, time out lines. Again, with four minutes and three seconds, four minutes and three seconds, and the second quarter score is six to zero, Hillcrest. As you could possibly see now, again, that the lines are going in the wrong direction. They're going in the wrong direction, as you can see. But the Cougars are definitely still continuing to play football. As you can see, that there's an issue going on with early start. Not sure if they're not paying attention to the ball, but you can see that they're jumping, jumping just a little too early. And it's continuing to just move them back in the wrong direction. So with these penalties, hopefully that it does give Hillcrest a good field position as well that they can come back and score again. Now, the previous series, the previous drive that the Cougars had the ball, 
they were on the line side of the field and they were able to break a 36 yard carry by uh reels and for a cougar touchdown so i think coach just need to do away and do away with the passing and just hand the ball off and see if they can just push itself on down the field and also kills the clock and also drains the clock out because i know that some players know say they're ready to go in they're tired of what's going on out here so now back to some football the punt is off return Tolson with the return gains up about 16, 17 yards. Brings up first and 10. Cougars at their own, I mean, at the line's 20 yard line. So I get to have, have a short field. So now let's just check and see exactly what happened. Oh, uh, we got somebody drag racing on McClure Road. Seems like it. The McClure Road is on the south side of the field, and you can basically hear everything that's going on on McClure Road. All right, first and ten, Cougars at the twenty-yard line of the lines. Quarterback comes out in shotgun. Two receivers to the right. Box out the cadence. Hands off the reels again. Real sees the lane, and he takes it all the. Oh, he's tripped up. He is tripped up by number 20, and he stumbles all the way to the one-yard line. Gain of about 19 on the carry. But we got an injured player on the field, so taking a break, and I don't want to take a look at that, so let's turn away. Right, now, that see, that was an awesome run, and, you know, sometimes when you feel you tripped up and you may have to explode and push off, uh, due to the fact of you, know, you were tripped up, he lost his balance, and that goes to show you know, that sometimes you got to really put your hand down and keep yourself going. But he broke it again, like, like we stated, that I think the run game is better for the Cougars right now, especially dealing with the elements that they're dealing in, with the mess, uh, with the rain and the wet, the wet field. So hopefully that the coach you know, still keeps that in mind. Just run things a little different, not just hand it off to Rios. No, just kind of run some misdirection or something to kind of throw the defense off balance. Because if you keep continue to see Rios back there in the backfield, coaches will make an adjustment, and we'll see that that's we need to make an adjustment so that we can stop that run game. And now back to some action that the young man is he was able to walk on his own his own strength to walk off the field bring first and goal for the cougars ball spotted at the lines one yard line now let's see what type of offense set that the offense comes out in then a tight set roll being reels in the backfield Quarterback Barca Snap Cadence hands it off to Roby up the middle for a Cougar touchdown. Roby with the one yard carry for the Cougar touchdown. With 319 to go in the second quarter, your score is 12 to 0. I guess Roby said, Coach, give me the ball. I got to make up for that long run that I did score, but there was a penalty, so I got to make up for it. And there we go again, lined up in a tight formation. Tillerson barking out the cadence. Takes a snap, hands off the reels, reels around the corner, and is stopped in the backfield. Two-point conversion is no good. Reels is stopped in the backfield by a host of Lions. Again, with 3.14 to go in the second quarter, your score, your Hillcrest Christians Cougars, 12, Discovery Christian Lions, 0. Now, as you can see that the Cougars, they kept the ball on the ground, and they were able to punch it in. Reels was tripped up, and they were still able to punch it in with one-yard run by Roby. And I think that's what coach, that's the, the plan that they're going to look to attempt to do. As I, I would think, just keep it on the ground so that they can definitely move the ball down the field. 
because it's a little difficult attempting to throw it due to the fact of the conditions and the elements that they're playing in right now. Uh, as you can look on the sideline, you have about three or four ball boys that are making sure that the balls are dry. They're wiping it off so the balls and the elements can be well so that they can come out and, and move the ball. Offense is, is move the ball on the ground, but that's what they need to do. All right, let's take it back to the game. And we got some excitement of the line. Chili on the sideline, run up down the field, running down the sideline. Looks like they want to start the way. That would sound like it. Not sure if you can hear them. Turn, start the way. Yay, they want to start the way. <laughs> that's I don't, that's a uh, uh, stand tradition that everybody wants to do the way. Uh, squib kick. Oh, almost went by him. Picks it back up, and he there he goes again. He is uh oh shaking, 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 shaking through, and is brought down by number eleven Tillerson. One Tillerson, fifty yard run by I mean fifty yard gain by Tillerson. The first and ten line from their own thirty five yard line. And thank you guys for tuning in uh, here at Hillcrest Christian School, 4060 South Sower Road. Like more information about the academic program or the athletic program, or you would just like to be a, a supporter for Hillcrest, you can give them a call at 601-372-0149 or log on to hillcrestchristian.org. First and 10 lines, quarterback up on the center, barking out the cadence. Sends a man to stutter step, counter back, but he calls his own number. Oh, it looks like he called his own number, but he is tackled in the backfield. Brings up. Thompson and Ragland for the tackle for a loss. Brings up second down. Balls at the, the line's 32 yard line. Now, as you can see, all the junk on the sideline, that is. The river that was developed and created earlier today by the rain, and which is, is pushing the players closer to the field. Lines come out, one receiver wide to the left. Quarterbacks in the shotgun in the backfield, and there goes the flag. Dead ball. Delay a game against the Lions. Brings up second down. I see it's a little difficult, though, definitely looking at the, at the delay of game due to the fact of that the play clock is not running. And so, as you can see, that may, some of the guys may get a little confused about if the play clock, you know, do I have enough time to bark out my cadence? But there, there you go, barks out the cadence. Ball of snap, hands off to number 25, who is tackled in the backfield by Roby. Lost a few more yards, brings up third down. 51 and counting, and the second quarter brings up third down. So again, it's not the best conditions on the field at this particular moment, but Still got to play this game of football. As a former player and a former coach, well, as a former player, I enjoyed playing in this type of element. But as a former coach, I disliked it. But, you know, it's a fun when you play as a player because you're running and sliding on the play. Quarterback calls his own number and he's around the sideline and wasn't able to get out there, but was brought down at the 29-yard line. Gains of about a few yards. Gains about three yards. Brings up fourth down. And with that sound, that's the end of the first quarter. That's the end of the first half. Excuse me. Let's go. Hillcrest Christian 12, Discovery Alliance 0. All right, now we're just going to have a little chat. Uh, so again, let's just take a look at what took place over the first half. And as you can definitely see that the conditions are not the best right now. Is that they're sliding all over the place. 
losing the ball, fumbles, and runners attempting to make a good move, but they're still sliding, that they're still not getting good traction to get by. I know once before they stated as a former, even as a former equipment manager, that I was taught that she probably put the three, four uh, bottoms on your cleats. And I know a lot of uh, individuals that were these molded. Okay. Oh, my bad. We well, still got six seconds to go. So back to some football. Oh, that was the end of the quarter. I bring the fourth down. Looks like the Lions are going to punt. But the Lions are set to punt. And the Cougars are set up for an attempt to return. Squib punt, bounce, bounce, picks it up, fumble it, picks it up, and he was able to get it. And looked like he could go all the way. Has a good angle, but just hoping that he can cut it back, and he does, and he takes it for a score. Tony Tolson on a score brings up about a 53-yard punt return for the Cougar. Don't see any flags on the field, so touchdown Cougars. Well, I guess that timeout was granted and was useful. So the best thing to do is take. they took advantage of it, took advantage of the opportunity, and he did get to the sideline, lost the fumble, lost the, well, botched the kick a little, lost it, and then took an angle towards the sideline. Then he had an alley, and as he was running up the alley, he had two men to beat, and he was able to get beside one. And he took that last angle on to cut in to for a Cougar touchdown. Now the Cougars are set to go for two. Ball is snapped, hands off the reels, reels up the middle, and he takes it in easily. Two point conversion. Good. All right, now, and that's the end of the first half. With your score, your Hillcrest Christian Cougars, 19, Discovery Christian Lions, zero. So right now, we're going to take a break at halftime. Uh, correction, the score is 20 to zero now. Now we're going to take a little halftime break. Uh, coach is going to go in and get the teams back together, get them talked up someone may dry off because they're playing out here in this mud someone may dry off but hey it is football again this is uh bernard moore the third on hillcrest christian cougar network here for hillcrest christian football now i'm gonna take a break and we'll be back with you guys soon
All right, back to Hillcrest Christian School, home of the Mighty Cougars. Here playing against Discovery Christian Lions, returning back to the third quarter. Hillcrest Christian 20, Discovery Christian 0. Now, as you can see, that the officials are taking a look on the field, talking with the gentleman, get ready for the second half. Hillcrest won the toss and elected to receive the opening kickoff. I wish the opening kickoff that they did go down and score. However, the penalty there was a penalty, touchdown call back, and they lost possession of the ball. But they did were able to recuperate and bring back, get back up, three touchdowns and a two point conversion. To put them at the score right now, have twenty. So now half time is over. I uh, apologize about the, the major delay. We have to take a halftime break. Have to make a stop to the concession stand and get some of the good hot fries that I really enjoy. I don't know why every time I come to one of the games, basketball, baseball, or football, main thing I want is just some fries. Not sure exactly what is it, but that's the main thing I want is just some of the fries. The good hard crispy fries. So that, that's what I had, some fries. And get ready for some more football. So whenever you come down to one of the games here at Hillcrest, 4060 South Sour Road, make sure you go to concession stand and ask them for some French fries, some fresh, hot French fries. All right, there we go. Get ready for a kickoff of the second half. Score is 20 to 0. Hillcrest Christian Cougars. Like to learn more information about Hillcrest, you can definitely check them out, 4060 South Sideway Road, or get them a call at 601 Opening kickoff. Oh, yard carry by the Lions 14 yard carry. Henderson takes the line. I guess he must love that right side because he like all the opening kickoffs he had. He has taken a trip to the right side and he's going to met Ford. So I guess he must like running towards four side because it seemed like he made all the tackles on the kickoff. Now, I know the type of the element that we're playing in right now, and you want to play in some white, uh, it's going to look a little brown right now. As you can take a look at Discovery Christian and some of the players, they're dressed in white, white top, blue numbers, orange trim, with blue pants with orange trim, and their white looks a little dirty because they're playing in the mud. Blitz, it's on. And intercepted. Intercepted by number 10, Chubb Ford. And it looked like he tried to take the ball to the sideline. Hey, my first career interception of the season, which it is. This is his first interception of the season by Chubb Ford. Be first in 10 Hillcrest at the 38-yard line of the Discovery Christian Lions. Congratulations. There's you no know, Chubb come to the sidelines, getting a lot of high fouls, slapped on the head helmet and he's talking a little noise to the players as well say hey i got the first one of the season so yeah that's gonna be the locker room talk as well as the hallway talk i got the first interception of the season all right we're having a little mix up right now office line tells him get him together he's whispering a play into ragdale looks down looking around up under the center calls out the cadence takes a snap Bootleg, he's running, 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 scrambling, looking. Sees an open man on the field, and there goes Ragdale. He could go, and he turned on the Jets in for a Cougar touchdown. Tillerson pass completed to Tillerson. I mean, to Tillerson pass complete to Ragdale for a 38-yard touchdown reception. And as you can see, as he got close to the end zone, he turned on the Jets and picked up a little speed. And we have a little injury on the on the sideline right now. As you can see, though, that was opening out, came out, slowed things down, and waited to see what the defense was going to react. He got everybody calm, put everybody in the place what they need to be, and he had a wide open ragdale down the field for a thirty eight yard touchdown reception. To start out the second quarter, start out the second half, correction, to open up in a score 
What correction? Uh, interception, turnover. Then he comes back on the next play and for an opening touchdown pass for 38 yards. That's the way to come out to explode in the second half. You, know, you went in, had some time to talk about it, talk about a different game plan, and so now they came out and they struck. Touchdown, Cougars. We had an injury on the field. Uh, the young man is able to walk out on his own wheel with a little assistance from the coach. Now they're waiting for the officials to go ahead and get things started, blow the whistle to go ahead and get the game back and to play. Official like he's conversing with someone on the sideline. And like sometimes, though, uh, you can see the team unity. Somebody get, get hurts, the players take a knee, the cheerleaders take a knee. Everybody takes a knee to show so, no respect or, or say a quick prayer for the injured player. No, hopefully, know that everything is all right. He's on the sideline and they're taking a look at him. They're taking a look at the injury. So hopefully, get everything together. Now, let's go to go back to the field, get ready for the PAT. Not sure exactly what type of play they're going to run, but I guess it's saying people still sitting on their knees. Tilson calls, gets back to the huddle. Then the play, hand clap. <laughs> you know, I say, hey, ready, break. Give the clap. Got a receiver out wide. Actually, got two receivers out to his left. Back in the backfield. Calls the cadence, looking around. Oh, got a flag on a play. Dead ball foul. Delay game. Delay game. Number five. Back five yards on the PAP. Five yard penalty. One of the said, hey, it's a little bit too far for normal. Why don't we just kick a field goal? Coach still says he's going to go for the deuces. Right now, score sitting 26 to 0 with 927 to go in the third quarter. All right, came out same formation, two receivers to the left, back in the backfield to his right. Walks out the cadence. Josh back, hands it off, spins, spins around, and he's scrambling out, sees a man opening the field. Oh, it is out of bound, incomplete. Good catch, good movement, but he just couldn't keep his feet in bound. All right, let's get a little focus on the camera. 26 to 0, 9.19 to go in the third quarter. Now, as you can see on the previous play, Tillerson had to break three, two to three tackles and still was able to get the pass out. Looks like he had Bragland in the end zone wide open, but he threw it to Tillerson, uh, who was out of bounds. So two-point conversion is no good. But it still gives them the score of 26 to 0 in the third quarter with 919 to go here on this muddy, muddy day with homemade rivers on the sideline. But this run the ball, this goes a first touchdown pass. Like, like we stated earlier once before, that it was kind of it was a little difficult to throw the ball due to the fact of the type of elements that you're in, the conditions with the ball rubbing the ball through the grass and you grab it in your hands and you're trying to toss it down the field with, with very little traction or grip on the ball. But they were able to be successful on this previous play. Now let's get set for the kickoff. Kickoff is set. Henderson back. Dropped it at the 15, picks it back up, and he runs up the middle and is tackled by number three. That's Kobe Hayes with the tackle. Be first, first and ten. Lions ball looks like it'll be spotted at the thirty-five yard line. Yeah, definitely want to thank the viewers of Hillcrest Football here on YouTube channel as well as Facebook. Thank you for tuning in. Definitely stay tuned for stay tuned for the future. Future events are Will Hill Chris. Yeah, you'd like to learn more information, check the website out www.hillcrestchristian.org. One well receiver to the right, the quarterback barks out the cadence, takes a snap, hands off, met in the backfield by. Oh. Yeah, 
All right, lost a five on the play. And had a little excitement on the sideline. All I did was just took a little mud bath, but hey. Brings up second down and about 15 for the Southern Christian Lions. Quarterback comes out, receiver to the right, man in the backfield, marks out the cadence. Quarterback bootleg keeper, and he sees an alley, and he takes it. Gains about seven yard tackle on a chub for with the tackle. Had a little substitution. All right, quarterback bars out the cadence. Got a receiver to the right. Got a flag on a play. Timeout on the field. Time out. Lions. Lions with the timeout. And just take a scene. Timeout also here in the stands. Again, you're listening to Hillcrest Christian Football here on Cougar Network. Let's take a break. All right, back to Cougar football. Third and about seven for the Lions. Oh, about snap. Keeps it. Calls his own number. Takes it, takes it, takes it. Haynes with the tackle. Gains of about four. Brings up fourth down. Fourth down and two. Coming for the Lions. You got a little excitement by the hit. Quarterback is trotting back on the field after he takes the play. No, he gets the play from the coach on the sideline. Lines hustle up to the line, line of scrimmage. Ball up on the center. Tried to cause a quarterback sneak and gets nowhere. Met by a host of line. Brings turn up on down. First and 10 Cougars. The Cougars defense, you know, the quarterback tried to come quickly to the line of scrimmage and try to take it up the middle real quick, but he was met by a host of Cougars. And again, that goes by good patience and discipline of 
position and everything up at the line of scrimmage so that you would not be an impatient and potentially run right by the ball. The Cougars' defensive line, they still strong and they waited patiently for the ball, and they saw it, and they made a stop. And so now you see the reward for the stop. They got the ball, first and 10, at the line's 44-yard line. Ball is snapped, hands off to the end of the round, and it is tackled in the backfield. But they're saying that the ball is on the field. The ball is on the ground. Lost over about three yards. Ford on the carry, loss of three yards. Brings up second down. Now, that play was played well by the outside linebacker. And again, that goes about patience and discipline. You stay in your lane, stay in, in your area, and just wait. Sometimes the plays can't come to you. And that's exactly what took place. Stayed in his area. He saw the motion, and he played the play very well. Ball is snapped. Looking, looking, looking. Blitz is picked up. Quarterback looking. Sees and takes it, breaks it down the field. And it's pulled down by Henderson at the 30-yard line. But there's a marker on the play. Holding on the Cougars. Ball flag looks like he is at the, about the 49-yard line. So 10 yards from the 49-yard line will take them back to the 39-yard line. Oh, correction, uh, the 49-yard line on the line side. Again, we'll take it back to the 40, uh, will that be the 41-yard so just basically just taking out by where the spot of the foul, where the flag is located. So I guess I had my markers, my line of scrimmage incorrectly. All right, brings up second down and about 20 for the Cougars. Ball spotted at the 41-yard line. It seemed like that they're having success on the ground, so Coach might as well just hand it off to the back and just let them take it up to take up the field. You got, the, you got a decent line that is creating lanes for you. So, Coach, just give it to the running back and let him go ahead and gain those yards. Brings up second and 20. Ball is snapped. Quarterback's looking, 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 looking. Has the man open the face, and he throws it deep, and it is intercepted. Tilson passes intercepted by number 20. Now, that was a mistake pass. It seemed like he did have a man open in front of him where he could have just took the short the short yardage and potentially just worked the ball down the field. But he decided to take it deep and take it deep and see what has taken place that he did throw interception again he did did have a man open running across his face but i guess he must then then notice it however he just noticed a man deep down the field and again with the tractions of the ball the ground the ball is wet due to the fact of the elements that you're playing in this type of environment and he tried to throw it deep in the scene, and and it just threw a high up in the air and the lines was there to just pick it off hand off to henderson and it's being chased by Roby, but stopped by number three, Haynes. Brings up second down, gain of about, I want to say at least about four yards. So second down and about six for the Lions. And that was, that's what you just love to see, the celebration of the children here in the stands. And we just like to be back in football. You know, we were on a lot of restrictions for the previous years with football such restriction against gathering and now it's good to see that the children are out playing and having fun you no know, everybody just definitely stay safe covid free and now with stuff dealing with the monkey pox all those other different things so make sure you definitely just stay safe you know and just enjoy the days just enjoy the days all right the lines come to line of scrimmage ball is snap and he spins the reverse and he has a lane and he's taken and is tackled by number six, C.D. Thomas, 
and also a collision along with Haynes. But everybody thought that that was a good hit. They just kind of bumped into each other. You know, you heard the ooze on the sideline. They just kind of bumped into each other. That's enough for a Lions first down, first and 10 Lions. Ball spotted at their own 50-yard line. Uh-oh, we got a player out down on the far sideline. Not sure exactly what has taken place. But why does that? Let's just go. Yeah, we finally had a good option, a good run by the quarterback. He saw Allen in the lane, and he took took advantage of it. And he was able to enough to get a first down. Uh, we got 342 in the third quarter. He scored the kill Chris Cougars, 32 uh, discovery, line zero. And the quarterback had an opportunity to see he saw a lane, and he took advantage of it. And that's what you need to do. You saw the opportunity to take advantage of it. Go ahead and go for it. And uh, this looks like the quarterback just – that had just went out. Got a new quarterback in. Looks like number 12. Got a new quarterback in the game. So now let's see what type of production that we're about to go to have right now. Also, again, we still got a timeout. And once timeout, let's just take a break. And you, if you hear some music in the background, we do not have copyright over the music. So just definitely just sit there and have fun. And see the, the cheerleaders down there having fun. They're getting all excited about what's going on, so just enjoy. Just enjoy the cheer. Back to football. Back to football. Hands off the quarterback in the backfield. Hands off number 20, and he is stopped in the backfield. Correction number 30. Roby on the stop. Brings up second down, then about 11 for the Lions. This game we got the new quarterback in the game. Quarterback looking, looking, calls the cadence. Takes the snap. Oh, bumble snap, calls it, and he's running, 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 running. And he is tackled in the backfield by tackled in the backfield by Haynes. Brings up third and about long. Got a little substitution coming in. Brings up third and long. Two minutes and nine and counting. Score 26 to zero. Hillcrest. Quarterback comes to the line of scrimmage. Takes the snap. Ball is prematurely snapped. The line were able to recover it. Brings up fourth down. Brings up fourth and long for the Lions. Mm 
Looks like they're bringing out the punt team. Again, this is opening season for both teams. They had a, had a Jamboree scrimmage this past Friday, and in attendance were, you know, Chris, Discovery Christian, and I cannot think of the school. It's another school out of Rankin County. Hillcrest was able to go undefeated, beat both schools. Discovery Christian went zero and two. Oh, punt is partially blocked. And Rios picks it up and thinks he can go score. Oh, he takes a takes a guy for a little ride, but got didn't get it too far. Be first and ten Cougars. Ball be spotted at the 31 yard line of the lines. And we got an injured player known as limping off the sidelines. Looks like he's cramping up. That's a quarterback number 10 who, who has been a very tough player. And with that sound, that's the end of the third quarter. And your score, your Hillcrest Christians Cougars, 26. Discovery Christian, zero. And now you can take a look at the Chili's that are doing the Cupid Shuffle. Uh, that is the Discovery Christian Lion Cheer Squad. And now I'll take a look at your Hillcrest Christians Cougars Cheer Squad. Again, this is the end of the third quarter. Let's take a look at the fourth quarter. Get ready for the fourth quarter. So again, this is uh, Bernard Moore. And this is Hillcrest Christian Cougars Network here live at Hillcrest Christian Schools. All right, now back to football action. First and 10, Cougars. Ball spotted at the Lions, 32-yard line. Two receivers to the left. Tossing calls the cadence. Men in the backfield, hands off to Roby. Roby just takes it up the field, and he is tripped up, lost his stumble, lost the lost his footing, but then was brought down. Brings up second and about one. Man, second and one. Uh, coach Carr, first season as the Cougars head coach in the eight-man football. Got two receivers to the right. Man in the backfield. Quarterback calls the cadence. Takes the snap. Hands off the reels. And reels take it up the middle. And he has an alley. And he could take it to the house. Logan Neal. No flags on the play. Official gives the signal touchdown. Touchdown Cougars. Now the Cougars look like they're finna go for two.
right. Sound like we got a dog in the stand somewhere barking around like stuck. Forty count in the quarter, thirty-two to zero. Coach comes out to receive to the right. Set looks like for the two-point conversion. Quarterback takes a snap, hot snap, hands it off, takes it in, it around. Oh, oh, he was able to get in. Hey, he's stumbled into the end zone for a two-point conversion. And your score, Hillcrest Christian Cougars, 34. And Discovery Lines, zero. Just want to say that the Cougars now, I've, I've said the coaches went into the locker room. They came out and opened up in the second half. And they're playing a little different. They're playing more in tune and to making plays. And they're playing more and to playing smart football. So hopefully that they definitely continue to this drive. You know, coach, you know, after this game is over with, they'll go back to, to the drawing board, get in there and talk with the guys, have a good week of practice. And just get ready for the next opponent. Now I know Discovery Christian is a up upstarting program, and they're still going through some the transitioning. But you will take this victory and learn from it. So hopefully, again, that they get this victory and they definitely go out and take it seriously because they have some tough opponents that's coming up in the coming weeks. So hopefully that they definitely learn how to work together. Definitely learn from from this game some mistakes that they need to correct as well as some just some little minor mishaps. Now, I know that the element, the conditions of this game kind of played a factor in it, but you still got to play football regardless of whatever you're playing in. So you still play have to play football. Now, we're getting set for kickoff. Ball is kicked, and it is kicked high in the air. Up uh, back catches it and he is taking it down the field. Oh, he, he has a lane, but not two for Poe picks up a few yards and tackle brought down by Layden Clark. Brings up first and ten Lions ball. Looks like it'll be spotted at their own 38 yard line. Over the 36-yard line, as you can take a look at the field, the field is, is not as bad as you would think that it would be the way that the rain came down. But the field is something, well, from this point of view, is not as bad. I know, as you can take a look at from the player's point of view, you just said that the field is rough, it is bad. But from this point of view, it doesn't look too bad. The lines come to the line of scrimmage. Quarterback looking around, looking, looking, looking. He's spreading the defense out. Receivers out wide. One back in the backfield. Calls the cadence. Hands the ball off to the man in the backfield, and he is met in the backfield by number 81, Trey Askew. Trey Askew on the tackle for loss, and there goes some excitement by the sideline, and it seemed like his family was there in the stands below the press box because I heard him yell, go, Trey! So it's a good outstanding play by Trey Askew with his first tackle of the season. Now he's excited and say, hey, I need to get another one. All right, brings up second down and about 15 for the Lions. Having a, list, a little miscommunication between the quarterback and the sideline. We've got a timeout on the field. Timeout, Lions. Now, don't you feel the excitement when, when the player – gets his first opportunity to get in the game and and he makes a play 
you know, the, the, the teammates are happy. His family is happy. Now they take a timeout and he get a little dap on the sideline. Everybody's happy for him saying, yes, I made a tackle, a tackle for a loss. So that's a big play. And so now I see the coaches and some of his teammates and class may give him a high five and a, a hand clap and you know, a slap. You no know, saying, hey, he made a big play. And which that's just definitely want the guys to feel you know, they're making plays, give them credit where, where it is due so that they can continue to encourage them to play better, to come out and want to play football. But that's that's a good feeling. You know, that you see, hey, I received this type of accolade, and now look at him now, he's giving the muscle, the muscle man sign. Like I'm big and strong. Look at eh. let's just take a look at that what's going on. So as you can see him on the sideline. Now he getting he, he getting a little hand claps on the field, so they still getting him. Still getting that from the players on the field about his first first tackle end of the season, and it's a tackle for a loss. That's it that does that, that makes you feel good though when you make a good play then the team is congratulate then the coaches are giving you giving you that and stuff so now let's see if he's gonna come back and make another all right out for the timeout two minutes three minutes in counting in the third quarter so they get down to the stands they got the quarterback snap ball is hand off ball is fumbled officially gonna say that the ball was down on the ground and they still wrestling for it Haynes saying, ref, I got the ball. This is my ball, so it's going to be our ball. Again, brings up down 230 and counting. Ball spotted at the 30-yard line of the Lions. I'm trying to say, Discovery Christian is an up-and-coming program. It's an up-and-coming, it's a startup program. I think they've been in existing for a few years. But you can see the potential that they have. They do have some very spotlight players on their team. So, again, with the continued growth, definitely looking forward to see them in a few years. All right, third down, third and long. Quarterback is looking, looking, looking. Quarterback calls the cadence. Ball is snap, hands off to the backfield. And he's been in the backfield by number 35. Man in backfield by number 35, D'Angelo Lewis with the tackle for loss. Brings up fourth down. Brings up fourth down for the Lions with a minute and 22 and counting to go in the game. Quarterback gets the call, gets the play. He's come to the line of scrimmage. Oh, it looks like they're set to punt. Look like they're going to try to put some pressure on them, but they're not. They're just going to go ahead and let them punt it. Mm, take the snap. Oh, punt is blocked. And is recovered by the Lions to be first and 10 Cougars. Clark with the block punt. First and 10 Cougars. Ball spotted at the 18-yard line. First and 10 with, again. And I guess he's just going to go ahead and just let the time run out, 15, 14, 13 seconds to go. So the time is just still winding down. So the time is just still winding down. And with that sound, that's the end of the ball game. Your Hillcrest Christian Cougars, 34, Discovery Lines, zero. Now again, the, just just the input from the game, the Cougars could have played differently. Uh, I'm not just going to sit here and strictly look at the elements of the game because it was rainy, it was wet. They made a lot of mental mistakes about false starts, neutral zone infraction, uh, some holding. So there's still a lot that they need to work on. So I would just advise definitely, the coach definitely would get with them to go help them to definitely make up 
to help correct those mistakes that they made with those penalties, the false starts, all those things. Those things can be corrected. So hopefully that they, they look at the film and coach really help them correct those mistakes that they made. Now, again, I want to uh, congratulate the coaching staff over the Discovery Christian as well as the staff and administration. They are an up-and-coming program. They are a they are up and coming program. So I know that they're up and coming. I know that they got some things in store. I know that they have a lot of things to work on, but definitely looking forward to seeing them in the future about what they're going to do. And as you can see now, this team unity that everybody definitely wants to get together. And which again, this is the godly thing to do. We are Christians. This is a Christian institution. And they're showing that Christian values about coming together as one. Unity is what it is all about. We just the, we had a battle on the field, but we are part of unity. And I like that they meet together in the middle of the field and they pray together as a team in unity. So that is marvelous on on both both schools we have that they come together and pray together. Now, again, now this is a uh, Bernard Moore the third. I know I look a little dark. I'm in a press box. Uh, get it set to sign off uh, the final score. Chris Hillcrest Christian Cougar Hillcrest. Christian Cougars, 34, Discovery Christian Lions, zero. Uh, safe travels to everyone that is out traveling. Thank you guys for listening and tuning in. Until next time, be safe, enjoy, and let's play some Cougar football.